Hey everybody, this is Kim from My Feather Nest. Welcome back or welcome to my channel. So I am going to be participating in a question air video that I was tagged by my friend Robin Johnson. She actually tagged me, you guys. Um, let's see. She tagged me back at like the first week in May and I am just now getting to this in the middle towards the end of June. So Robin, I told you that I would participate. I'll say it once. And I'm slow. <laughs> Actually, I'm not saying it once. I'm saying it a lot of times. I'm just slow about doing things. So um, I thought that instead of just doing, reading these questions off to you and answering them, I thought it would also be fun to include myself um, planting my two pretty big three-tiered planters that I'm going to be using in the on the front porch of the farmhouse. Um, and so before I get involved in the questions and stuff like that um by the way if i didn't already say it the questions pertain to getting inside the mind of a thrifter and you guys know that i love me some thrifting so anyway let me go ahead and show you what my planters look like and some of the stuff that i purchased for them so i'm gonna flip the camera around it'll just be easier to do it that way so what i done what i did was i picked up these two pretty tall planters um from walmart they are three there's three tiers to them and they um go from bigger to smaller at the top and they're coconut lined they're a pretty good quality i think they were from the better homes and gardens line um they actually came in two different colors there was like a darkish black I, th I think it was either black or like a dark brown color as well as a white and i ended up picking up the white ones decided that i didn't like them white so i spray painted them spray painted them just black okay so um obviously you can see that i've got my miracle grow potting mix so what i plan on doing was i purchased two ferns from walmart and these are actually beautiful ferns for walmart i was actually pretty shocked they were only um, $12.88 and they are pretty substantially sized. I picked up two of those. I plan on just leaving them in their hanging baskets. I'll just take away the hanger for now and I plan on putting them on the very top. Okay, so then in the second and third basket, both sides were going to be, or both sets are going to be the same. I picked up some white impatience because I need something because it's going to be shaded. And then I picked up a couple of these um, little ivy plants and a couple of these. I think these are called Creeping Jenny. Yeah, these are yellow Creeping Jenny. And I just, I love the chartreuse green of these Creeping Jenny. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and um, star Olivia is here. She doesn't want to be on film today, but she is going to be helping me. Um, she didn't even want me to tell you that she was on on over here helping me. But you're going to see this other person here and there. So I wanted you to know it wasn't a creeper. <laughs> so um she's like i took a shower my hair's all wet i got my pajamas on don't put me on film i'm like whatever my subscribers will not care but whatever so while she is gonna start um let me go ahead and answer some of the questions so robin asks or some of the tag questions are what made you start thrifting and why do you still do it now oh my gosh i started thrifting years and years and years ago like years ago like really like literally i remember probably when i was pregnant with maybe olivia it might have been so she's 15 gonna be 16 this year so that was a long time ago um and i went through stages where i would really like thrifting and then i didn't want anything to do with goodwills and I, when i first started i was more or less looking just maybe like for kid clothes and baby clothes um, wasn't overly into like decor, not anything remotely like I am now. Um, and the reason I probably started it then too, because maybe we didn't, we didn't maybe have a whole lot of money. Money was tighter back then. And I, I just, I loved my, my children. I have always loved dressing my children up. I have always loved to have multiple varieties of outfits. I'm not a minimalist when it comes to clothing either. <laughs> so I started because of that. And the reason why I still do it is because I absolutely love it. My love affair with thrifting has been going on for a long time. And like I said, I've went through ups and downs through it where I really liked, loved it. And then I kind of didn't do it so much. I really didn't like it a lot. But now, um, for years now, I have been into home decor and that has definitely bumped my love of thrifting just that much higher okay so top three stores 
some of these questions I'm probably gonna skip over because I don't wanna make this video super, super duper, duper long, plus I'm doing these plantings. So I'll probably skip over. Um, I'm not really fond of Goodwill. Let me just put it that way. Goodwill to me, their prices are too high. I've heard that a lot of the CEOs at Goodwill like get fat paychecks and I, I don't have a problem with people making money, but um, I don't know. And I know they do, they do do good. I'm not saying, I'm not talking bad against Goodwill. This is my opinion. Um, I would actually much rather go to a Salvation Army or like local types of thrift stores, like cancer thrift stores, um, stuff that helps out your local community. Um, to me, they usually have better prices. They usually have better stuff. And I just feel a lot better donating as well as buying from those places. Explain the feeling you get when you find a treasure. Y'all know me, I'm gonna be squealing if I find a treasure. I'm gonna be excited and elated. Who doesn't like to find treasure? <laughs> Hear about pieces being dirty. No, because I can wash them. I mean, that's kind of obvious. I really could care less. I mean, if it's stained up and I know that I can't get it out, like if it's a clothing item, obviously I'm not gonna buy it. Um, but as far as like dishes and stuff like that go, if they're a little dirty, but I can tell it's something that I can get off, I could care less. I mean, who cares? Okay, let me go ahead and plant some. Um, I'll take a little break from the questions. Oh, I, sorry, got Livia on there a little bit. Anyway, I wanna make sure you guys can see this too, so I'm gonna move that. Okay, so it's obvious, what I'm gonna do is Olivia is actually putting soil already in the, um, the planter for me. Don't put any on the top because I'm just putting that fern up there. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go ahead and switch um, planters with her and I'm gonna let her continue to fill. So, uh, um, we filled up the, the second and the third layer, almost, not quite to the top. It's a good two inches away from the top. I like to work like first, get it to about that fill, Full, and then start putting my plants in and then I know um, I can have room to like move stuff around so my plan is to put three bunches of impatiens per basket and then on the front of the baskets is where I'm gonna put my creeping Jenny and my ivy so these are pretty big and these were in case you're interested these were three dollars and 22 cents each I love impatiens I think they're pretty. I like how they get bushy. They're usually cheaper. You usually can find them in so many varieties of colors. And I feel like they're pretty easy to care for. And y'all know that I'm trying to develop a green thumb. So if I'm telling you that they're relatively easy to care for, they probably are. Let's see. What I should do is get another question out. And these are really wet. Walmart must have just watered them. Actually, to be honest with you, they're almost too wet. Have y'all ever noticed that Walmart usually is the place where flowers go to die. <laughs> like they look so beautiful when the body plant truck is there or whatever. <laughs> and then they're there for like a week, maybe, maybe two weeks. And then flowers start looking nasty. <laughs> Seriously, so it's probably because Literally, ah, do you see specialty, the water? Their specialty isn't in the plants. Their specialty what? Is not plants. What's their specialty? I don't know. Oh, okay, so oh, so you're defending Walmart? Yeah. I'm sorry if you're a Walmart worker. <laughs> I have a love-hate relationship with Walmart, so I'm even gonna go there. <laughs> anyway, these things are sopping, literally. It's but not good. <laughs> I'm gonna not really break these apart very <laughs> much. And I'm not gonna have to water these things probably for the next uh, 72 hours <laughs> at least. Although impatiens do like to stay moist. And what I'm gonna do is, um, like I said, I'm gonna put three impatiens per little pot here. And I'm just making sure that the top of the soil on my plant is le about level, actually a little bit less than level than your coconut liner because that way when you put water, when you're watering them, the water just doesn't like spill over. And y'all, you know I'm not an expert at taking care of flowers. I'm not trying to claim to be. I'm just gonna tell you that right now. So don't be asking me a bunch of advice. I'm just showing you what I'm doing. <laughs> I don't know if you wanna take my advice, honestly. Let's go show them the coral bells. Oh, please, hush. Sometimes my house is the house where flowers come to die too. <laughs> yeah, really? It's because you know what? My biggest problem already. is, I can't help that. 
that's gonna happen. Um, my biggest problem. Happy. My biggest problem is sometimes I take too long to plant things. Especially if it's something that's going in the ground and and that has got me into a lot of trouble Because I've let them get you know anyway anyway, so let me ask the next question and I'll talk about that bustling. remove prices from my products Well, obviously I try to leave the price tags on there until I make a YouTube video <laughs> So I can tell you people how much stuff is but after that. Yeah, I mean I take prices off What do you do with all your stuff? <laughs> Now that's a good question, people. And I know a lot of you wondering, what in the Sam Hill does this girl do with all these plates? Well, or junk. I have, I am fortunate enough to live in a house where we have a really, we call it, like I said, I've told you guys this before. It's, we call it the barn. And it was, it, it's kind of, it, it was actually, it used to be a, a, like a real working barn. There was horses kept in there and stuff like that at least that's what we've been told i've actually seen pictures and whatnot um but over the years the different people that have lived in the, in my house they have used that area for different reasons and they've built lean-tos on it and they've enclosed porches and they've just enclosed things but even though it's kind of hodgepodge and it's going to be a lot cuter one day once we ever get there um i have lots of room in there and i have like one room in particular which is where i'm trying to keep all of my decorator stuff is what i call it um and so it doesn't we have all my christmas stuff is really nicely organized in there but i'm actually waiting for my husband to hang me some more shelves on the opposite wall so that i can put my stuff that i'm not using um so that way i can kind of it's so much easier if you have it organized and on shelves so that you can shop like your own stuff um you know my my sweet lady friend um liz over at um oh my gosh i can't remember the name of her channel right now what is her channel you know what i'm gonna put it in a little information little thing that goes across the screen right now because i cannot remember the name it's seasons something but i cannot remember anyway liz is so i love that girl i love her so much i love her style i love her decorating but she cracks me up because her like storage room that she has where she shops one in her own home Lord have mercy, I wanna shop at her house. So girl, I know if you're gonna be watching this channel, or I mean, if you're gonna be watching this video, can you please call me and let me come shop at your house? <laughs> because her storeroom is fabulous. Anyway, um, that was a side note. So right now, I, I try to use everything. Um, sometimes it takes a while for me to figure out where something is gonna go, so that's where I'll store it. Um, or that's when I will store it, so it'll go in my barn if I'm not going to use it immediately or it'll be placed if I have a good idea for it. Um, as far as my dishes right now, I have a cabinet in my kitchen and then I have some shelves in like our pantry area that I keep some stuff and my dining room hutch, um, stores some of my stuff as well. But, um, I've got the impatience in there kind of in a triangle and now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to place on one side, I'm gonna place an ivy, and on the other side, I'm gonna place the Creeping Jenny. And this Creeping Jenny is really cool because it's actually already grown out a lot, as you can see, it's really nice, and so it's gonna be giving me some nice trailing color immediately. And these were $3.22 as well. But I know these, these guys are ready to come out of these pots. They are just like, they're getting, look, they're getting all root, rooty, funky. Goodness. Oof. Okay, and I, I do sometimes kind of squeeze the bottom just to let it, you know. Okay, so that's on one side. That is so pretty. That's gonna be pretty. I'll of course have to show you guys this, uh, you know, once it's all said and done. And ivy over here. These are pretty too. Okay. I'm gonna just place that down in there. And I think these are a little bit slower of a grower. So this might take a little while for it to finally start trailing over. All right, so I've got everything in the, the middle. I'm gonna go ahead and work on the um, bottom. But the, uh, I, I, need more, I need to put more soil in too, but I might have Olivia do that. So let me work on the next question for you guys. Let's see, oh gosh, my air conditioner unit just kicked on. Sorry if you hear that. My first stop in the store. Okay, so I guess when I go into a thrift store, 
I never look at clothes first. Let me just tell you that. I usually immediately, depending on what store it is, I immediately will check out the furniture. That's probably my first thing because it's big and you can really see it. It doesn't take long to get through a furniture section because like I said, the pieces are bigger. So I immediately go to the furniture, see what's going on over in the furniture. And then from there, I hit up like the housewares. Um, looking for honey pots, looking for dishes, looking for flower pots, um, looking for from, so from there, the dishes and like the housewares, then I'll go to the picture frames and I'll look for um, art prints or really pretty picture frames that I can place my own pictures in. Um, and then from there, if I'm in the mood, I will check out some clothing, check out some shoes, and then occasionally I will check out like what's in the front counters. Um, Honestly, that's usually a spot that I overlook a lot depending it depends on what store it is too There's one store um, in particular that I actually really like to look It's really nice and laid out really nicely and they have a really big front counter um, And it's glass enclosed and a lot of times they have really neat stuff in there So a lot of times at that store because it's at the front of the store and there's like housewares all like next to it You know, I'll hit that stuff up first, but usually that's what happens furniture then housewares then pictures um, and then clothes and shoes if I'm in the mood. Oh, and somewhere thrown in there too, I hit up like the linens. So like the tablecloths and the pillows and you know, the bedspreads and stuff like that. So how long can one trip last for you? I mean, it really depends. If you're finding a lot of good stuff and you're filling up your buggy, then obviously it can last a while. <laughs> Typically that's not what happens though. Typically I can, I can tell it's it's funny because you can kind of go in and you can feel the place out and you know almost if you're gonna find good stuff or not um, right now I'm trying to slim back um, you guys are probably not thinking that I am but literally in real time I'm actually trying to slim back so I'm really kind of trying to stay away because usually I'm not a good window shopper I am usually like a buy me buy me buy me kind of a girl window shopping for me is not the easiest thing to do <laughs> I just like to have all the things um, so it just depends. Okay, so what's my thrifty style? I, I'm not exactly sure what this question is really asking. What's my thrifty style? I, I mean, I guess like what what era or or does it is it are you is it is it a question based on like do I look for modern stuff? Do I look for a certain style of decorating? Well, I, I guess I'm I'm going and veering more towards traditional style. If you, if you will, especially in regards to like decor. Um, farmhouse for me, I live in a farmhouse and it's funny because now that I live in a farmhouse, you would think that I would want everything farmhouse, but I don't. I, I want, I just, I'm veering, like I said, more towards traditional styles. Um, I guess leaning more towards a little bit of like a boho a little bit. Um, I guess, I don't know, I don't know. I'm just very eclectic. I literally am eclectic. Um, I'm eclectic even with my clothing it just depends what mood i'm in where i'm going what day of the week it is <laughs> it is kind of like what style of clothing that i get i like a variety of stuff i always have um i'm just i'm very i like unique things i'm very very into unique things if i find something that is extremely unique even it's even if it's like borderline weird i'm good with that that's usually sometimes my favorite pieces i like sentimental things um, so I guess my thrifty style, if I had to sum it up in one word, would just be eclectic, honestly. I'm like all over the place. The last question I'm gonna answer today is, do you watch other thrifting YouTubers and what do you get out of watching them? Um, I do watch other thrift hauls um, and other thrifting YouTubers. Obviously, my friend Robin who tagged me, I watch her because she does a lot of thrift store um, videos. But um, I will be honest with you, um, my life is really, really full right now. And you guys, I've told you that it's a little bit of a struggle to even make YouTube videos right now. And so honestly, sitting down to watch YouTube videos, I have not had a whole lot of chance um, and don't have, don't have a whole lot of time really right now to watch a whole lot of YouTube videos. And plus, just seriously, since I'm um, creating a YouTube channel, my, um, I've noticed that my watch time of myself watching other people's videos has really shrunk a lot. I don't know. It's weird. I, I don't, it's so strange. Um, I still enjoy thrift hauls. Um, I, I love, love to see what other, other treasures that people, um, find, but I don't do it as much as I used to. And, um, 
yeah so but it's not that I don't enjoy it still I just do it just don't have a lot of time we're just really 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 busy and just really have a full life and I'm very thankful for that I feel blessed to be busy <laughs> you know so um, yeah that's it as far as the questions go I'm gonna continue to plan and so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and put um, the impatience down here on the bottom and then my creeping Jenny and all that stuff I think I'm just gonna go ahead and pause because y'all don't need to have to see every single thing that I do I'll just pause and then I'll come back to you when I'm completely done and I'll tell you who I am tagging um, to carry on this uh, getting into the mind of a thrifter tag here okay so here are the planters all finished you can see that I put the fern up here on the very top and here's what they look like with the creeping jenny and the white impatience and then there is ivy although this ivy really <laughs> it just blends in with the impatience but i guess once it starts growing and trailing over it'll look really pretty but anyway so um they just look so pretty i'm happy with them now I do, like I said, wish that I would have been able to get red impatience, and maybe if I would have been patient, <laughs> I could have found red impatience, but I didn't. So because of that, I know that I've got to add some more color. Um, and how I did that for right now is I just put these American flags up in the top of the fern. And so actually I'm gonna go ahead and give you a little um, sneak peek, I guess, if you will, of our porch all decorated. Well, it's not really all decorated. Let me just show you the front of the house. I put up buntings and it looks so stinking beautiful. But anyway, so there's with flower pots or containers. So I've got my Uncle Sam man, my mother-in-law gave me this like years and years ago. And I just think he is just the daggone cutest thing. I think the back of Uncle Sam's um, hat got broken a long time ago, but I don't care. I think he's adorable. And so he's just kind of out here waving his little flag on the bottom step. It, there's the planters, both of them. You can see I've got them more towards the steps because if I put them back farther towards the door, you won't really be able to see them um, like from the road or whatever. So I have them kind of closer to the steps and then I've just got an American flag on the flagpole ignore all of that you can see we've got to redo all kinds of stuff here we've got to redo soffits and oh like I said the list anyway so look at the bunting so y'all oh my gosh I used buntings at my old house but on this house it just looks so stinking gorgeous oh my goodness so let me step back here and get a full overview of the whole house okay our grass needs cut right now <laughs> but look at that oh my gosh I mean I don't know if y'all can tell on camera at all but oh it's so beautiful I'm not trying to brag I'm I just feel thankful to live here actually a lot of times I pull into the driveway and I am just amazed that this is my house to be honest with you just because it's such a dream come true I literally have always wanted to live in an old house of some sort and this one is just perfect I love my porches <laughs> I have them on the side too on the side too but I actually just bought two more buntings because I'm gonna put them over here to finish up the whole entire porch anyway so that is all of my um i just wanted to give you that little sneak peek of what things are looking like for july 4th at the farmhouse not really too much i'm gonna do inside um i may do some more things i'm gonna try and make a wreath and i'm gonna try and video that i don't know if it'll be ready in time because let's face it july 4th is around the corner but um as far as the tag goes like what's going on i'm tagging my sweet lady friend lisa from crepe myrtle row um, I am tagging you, my friend, to participate in this tag video. So um, I'll put the questions, I'll send them to you or whatever, so you can answer them and make your own video about the mind of a thrifter. So anyway, that's it for now. I hope you guys have enjoyed this, getting to know me a little bit more and seeing how I put together my planters. I will see you guys in the next video. I hope you have an awesome, supercharged, super blessed day. Bye, guys.